Okay, uh, big warning, I am a huge Doctor Who fan, so this video might just be me nerding out, like, the entire time. Anyways, welcome, welcome to the Doctor Who mod, or no, it's not called the Doctor Who mod, it's called the Dalek mod. Uh, this is specifically for version 1.12.2. This mod is kinda not really being worked on anymore. They moved on to 16.5. And that's still good, but it's nothing like this version of the mod. And I'll I'll review the 16.5 um, one later. There is so much I have to show you all. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh, I wish I could go in there. Can't I make my own like BLTI? That is absolutely insane though. <laughs> like how could you even do this in Minecraft, man? All right, so before we get into the TARDISes, let's look at the items that this mod has to offer. I don't know why this chest is here. All right, so we have the Elixir of Life, River Song's Diary, and the Fob Watch. These are all regeneration items. So, okay. So first you have to drink the Elixir of Life. You can make this by doing all this. The white point star you have to find on Gallifrey. Yes, this mod has different planets. It's like Galacticraft, but it's a TARDIS. It's awesome. I have a regeneration cycle now. And the River Song's Diary is how you keep track of your regenerations. Makes sense. That's how River did it with 12. No, that's how River did it with the 11th. Set color. You can set your color for your regeneration. It's cool. I have 12 lives, 13 technically. The fob watch, if you right click it, all of your regenerations get stored inside of it. But what's cool is that if you stand in front of this, the untempered schism, yeah. You just stand in front of it for a while. You gain regenerations. I don't know how it really works though. Now we have all the Sonic stuff. I'm not gonna look at all of these. I'm just gonna choose my favorite one and like the little the little weird ones. These are all just Sonic screwdrivers. I'll take tens two why not a sonic cane give me a sort of sonic screwdriver you can look at blocks gallifrey falls painting oh it changed different colors oh if you do shift it like does it like does like the secondary look of the screwdriver that's awesome oh it even shows it in the hot bar oh yeah the sonic blaster it just makes blocks disappear and then reappear Ooh, the sonic shades. I'm cool. All right, so one. Oh, that's how you do it. I think the sonic shades is like the best one actually, because you just have like the sonic device on you at all times, and you could just be like, ah, door open. Twelfth Doctor is my favorite doctor. He's the best doctor. Fight me about it. I have not watched Classic Who, but I still know what this car is. It appeared in modern Doctor Who, kind of, when Clara was like saving all the doctors and there was like a flashback. I saw this car. I was like, man, what kind of significance does this car have? All right, so we have handles, the 2DIS, Nitro 9, Zygon Detector, and the Vortex Manipulator. I'm pretty sure if you put them in your TARDIS, you could just like give them commands. I actually don't know how it works. I might have to be inside of a TARDIS, but Handles is cool, bro. Alright, Villager, you're my test subject again. <laughs> oh, he's 2D. I broke Minecraft, bro. Look at him. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. You know what? Take this. And the Vortex Manipulator. You can craft this. It's like a portable TARDIS. It's like a mini TARDIS, kind of. You can go with places. You can set waypoints. Oh, wow. It tells you like all of the stuff. It tells you when you created it, the dimension, the name. We're going to classic. Let's go. Where am I? Why am I walking like this? What's going on? What's happening to me? Why? What's happening to my arms? <laughs> what the heck? 
Oh, those are sea devils because they exist like all the way back in time. I think it's time to start the TARDIS reviews. There are there are a ton. There are a ton of TARDISes in this mod. Yeah, but let's show you the the doctors first. This is Doctor Who. I don't know why. It's literally just called Doctor Who if you see on the left. Anyways, this is the first Doctor. Freaking second Doctor. It's third, fourth, fifth. The weird guy. The sixth. No way, no. You're the weird guy. The seventh the eighth palm again this is the war doctor this is the ninth doctor christopher eccleson Esselson? This is the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. Let's go. He's coming back. Oh, this is the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith. This is my guy. He's the guy that introduced me into Doctor Who. He's the guy that introduced a lot of people into Modern Who. This is the 12th, my personal favorite, the 12th Doctor. Literally, just doing this makes me want to rewatch all of 12th's era. Makes me want to rewatch the entire show, actually. And the 13th, uh, she's broken, but it's weirdly fitting. All right, it's time to get into the TARDISes. TARDIS I, TARDIS. Okay, so this is the TT castle. This is the thing that the doctor stole on Gallifrey. Oh, that, <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my gosh. Why does it feel black and white in here? The sound is amazing. Randomizer controls, door control, flight lever, player locator. Oh, this is so cool. This is the TARDIS monitor. Ooh. Oh, HADS. I remember this. It's like a hostile action defense system. I think that's what it's called. I'm not going to travel with this one. I'm going to travel with my favorite TARDIS, but I wanted to show you guys the the interiors. I, I, I cannot get over that. You could just see the inside. Hey, how you doing? I'm just sitting in a TARDIS. Sonic charger. Oh. Oh. Oh, chameleon panel. Yeah, this is where you put the cartridges. You could change the look of it any way you want. Like literally however you want. I didn't see this. Doom, this wasn't here. Oh, but this one actually opens. Oh, that's so cool. It like renders everything from within the chunk. This is cool. What What the? Is it because I opened the doors with the door control? What? <laughs> There's nothing there. Stop moving. Okay. Why are you facing the wrong way? You're annoying. I think this is like the third doctor's. Fancy. What the heck? What is this? You have the monitor. Is that all you have? The monitor and the flight lever? What the heck? Fifth doctor. Let's go. You're back to the white and circles. Ooh, you have the scarf. Wait, you're just like the other one. You just have the flight lever and the TARDIS monitor. What the? This is interesting. This looks cool though. I like this. There's like so much going on. It like feels like an actual base. I, I actually fell through that. That's, that's not there. I don't know what happened here. You're the next one anyways. Yo, look. I think the, I think the ninth doctor has this actually. We have door control, flight lever, more flight levers, a monitor. Then we have the ninth doctor's TARDIS. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh. I love this door. Oh, you can lock your door now. You can make all of these parts, by the way. You like, if your TARDIS doesn't have these parts, you could just make them. They don't even have to be on the console. You can literally put them anywhere. If you're in multiplayer, literally just search up a name like mine. It's a, you can't reach players that are inside TARDISes though. I mean, it's the same thing. It just has, it just has bad wolf. Player locator, flight lever, door lock, 11th doctor. Oh, I love this one everyone loves it it didn't finish generating oh yeah the flight panel actually we'll just use this you can you can craft a flight panel i'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive but you can craft it and you could just literally do creative fly oh it's awesome since we did the flight let's just do this you never get uh get tired of that sound it's such a satisfying sound we're not going anywhere. Although if you did want to go somewhere, you'd use a TARDIS monitor and you'd like, you can set waypoints, like add, you can set waypoints to go back to where you were. It, it'll tell you the dimension, your rotation, your everything. Or you could go here, set your coordinates and where you want to go. There are so many places. 
Ah, this is the Levens. This is like my favorite TARDIS iteration though. Like I love the modern. I, I, I just love this. This is like my favorite TARDIS. And like the 12 has this all the way through. This is literally my favorite design of the TARDIS. Like I, I, I wish they brought it back, but like I know they can't bring it back. I just can't wait to see the other TARDISes because uh, I, I didn't really like the 13th TARDIS. I thought it was weird. I thought it looked weird and that's nothing against 13th doctor i just did not like her tardis i left my screwdriver this one comes with a screwdriver though. that's cool oh yeah look we're in flight when you're in flight you can like literally just look at the monitor and like you can see your <laughs> you can see what your tardis is doing like you're just flying we're speed running we're speed running the 12th clara tribute this is when spoilers clara clara dies it's sad uh but the the guy he he like he painted it since clara saved his life oh man that was so sad that was such a sad episode he painted it on the tardis and like the doctor was gone for like trillions of years this is like my favorite tardis though it's like the the look i would always go for i would want this this is my definitive tardis oh both of your doors open dang it that's cool <laughs> It is so cool and wasted on this. Oh yeah, that does happen. This is cool. I like this. It doesn't feel like there was much uh, done for this TARDIS. It feels weird. K2 telephone box. Uh, this is the K2 telephone box. Actually, it looks cool. Got a lot of space in here. It's actually pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. I I actually like this a lot, guys. I I promise this isn't this is an actual TARDIS. <laughs> There's nothing in here but a freaking door, bro. It's just a door. Can fly? That looks that looks so stupid. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is just. Actually, we haven't seen this. The fridge TARDIS. Ooh. Feels icy in here. The Hexon TARDIS. What the heck is that? Oh. I don't know what this is. It probably references something in the show. I have no idea what it is though. The vanilla TARDIS. <laughs> Guys, I, I also promise this is a real TARDIS. See, it's a real, <laughs> it's a real one, even though it looks like, I don't know. I remember playing like uh, a Minecraft Pocket Edition mod for like the TARDIS. It's like 1.10, I think. This is cool though. This is like all, this is literally all just vanilla stuff. Uh, speed run, speed run. This is also a TARDIS. Uh, it's not fake. Why does it sound like a chest? I mean, there is no wood sound, so I guess the chest is the best sound. What the hell? What is this? Oh, there's an ender chest in here. There's something written on this screen. Oh, wait, there it is. Can I see it? A problem has been detected, and TARDIS has sh shut down why can't you see it when you're up close oh the problem has been detected with the TARDIS and has shut down to prevent damage to your TT capsule oh it's a stat display oh there we go that's better the Lego Dimensions TARDIS bro I love that it's the 12th TARDIS too because the 12th was the one inside of Lego Dimensions love that guy Bill and Ted Bill and Ted have a TARDIS why why do Bill and Ted have a TARDIS, man? The freaking Pokeball. This one's actually really cool, though. I love this one, actually. It's like, like, <laughs> it's like an actual Pokeball. Like, this is what a Pokeball would look on the inside. I think this is awesome. It only has a flight lever, but that looks so cool. Flight panel. Oh, you can fly. What the heck? What is going on? This is like the, the 11th first TARDIS mixed in with like randomness. Oh, this is cool though. Oh, this is amazing. This is awesome. Bro, this is so cool. Bro. <laughs> and there are stairs. Stairs that go where? Up here? What is this, like a storage room? This is the Oak Log TARDIS. What? There's a room on the right. Oh, what? This is awesome. This is awesome. This is like my favorite one. That's, this is amazing. The freaking shed. Oh, you have a regular oak door. 
this is cool though that's amazing this is this is actually really this is so chill gallifreyan wardrobe there's so much stuff i have to show y'all and i'm like not even done i'm just gonna show y'all the cool ones this one's cool the first the furnace one is cool it's like an actual furnace that's the vending machine one nothing really too different from the previous ones the master's column like an old tardis very classic freaking nether portal oh that's cool <laughs> bro that's awesome <laughs> these are some weird weird looking tardises that's the gingerbread one you can you guys see the interiors here I'm just gonna show you the rest of these, but like not go inside of them because I'm running out of time. We have Synthwave, Vintage 70s, we have Technicooler. I can't select it. There you go. Is this CMYK? Cyber Capsule? The Pride Police Box? It's like a little heart on the top of it. It's awesome. The Valiant Tardis? Gingerbread, the mod loader, Gizmo, Glasgow, Glasgow, Epsimo, Epsimo, Doctor Who, Synced Police Box, the Tempest Police Box, a huge library in here with a swimming pool. Ah, there's a library with a swimming pool. That's awesome, man. Scream of the Shulka Box. Oh, this one's cool. We don't really need to look at these. This one's ultra realistic though. Like you can actually read the stuff, look at the handle. It kind of looks like something you'd see in Gary's mod or something. Flight lever. Guys, it's time to go home. Back to where all of Doctor Who originated. Gallifrey. But I'm pretty sure the most important thing here is that The Citadel looks so cool, man. I wonder, like, wh what even is here? Like, I'm pretty sure Time Lords exist. I don't know what you'd be able to do with them. Oh, there's something at the top. Uh, isn't this like where that guy was? It's like where they talk about important stuff. Important, important things. Come to me, TARDIS. Where to next? There are like a ton of places like these. Uh, I wanna go to, wait, let's start flying. Oh, right here. Yo, it's the bard. It's the bard from Time of the Doctor. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the moment. It literally says the moment, the most dangerous weapon in the universe, do not touch. Yeah, let's not touch that actually. We have the moment, but this is where you find the moment like legitimately. You can find this and it'll be in your world. There's like only one of them. All right, TARDIS. We're going to other locations that this mod has. It has the barn, it has the citadel. What the? Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. What the hell? This literally, you guys saw that. This came out of nowhere. It just appeared. Bro, why would you ever want to come to Skyro, man? This is just a death trap. But the 12th Doctor went here, which is awesome. He got to see his, like, old buddy, buddy of his. <gasps> a Dalek gun stick and a metaller in ingot? I'm a Dalek. Let's go. Well, we found the city that I was kind of looking for. I was kind of looking for something else, but it's fine. Trenzalore. We're going, we're going to Christmas in the town called Christmas. Where's my TARDIS? Okay, whatever, I guess. I didn't need it anyways. I remember Christmas, right? This is from the, 
from the episode last episode with 11 it's uh, it was it, it was a very sad episode but hey oh there's fish fingers and custard in here ah that's sad in a bow tie i'm pretty sure these towns only like spawn once like these structures that i've been visiting i'm pretty sure they only spawn once and they're in specific locations so like you would not be able to find this anywhere else i don't know where my targets went though the moon has some stuff but you guys should go find that out yourself i think it's pretty cool what's on the moon well i guess some of the last stuff to show y'all is regeneration because regeneration works we're going to do this regeneration properly Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, if you regenerate in the TARDIS, the TARDIS takes you somewhere random. Regeneration is so cool, man. Before, they used to have it so that you could ch like literally just change skins. Like you your skin would be completely different, but they turned that off for some reason. There was like conflicts with like multiplayer or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it, it does suck, but like, and there's nothing you can really do about it. If you do want to like change your uh, skin while regenerating, just go to a previous version of the Dalek mod. I'm not sure what version it is, but there's a previous version that has it. So you guys see how we have all these test subjects here, right? So the moment is turned off automatically in the configs. You could turn it on, is which is what I did. You can also turn on like bigger on the inside. Which is why you can see like this look, these like cool effects. This is what the moment does. You can, you can start it. It does a cool little thing. But the thing it does is that when you shift, right click the button, look what happens. It kills everything, everything in like a huge like 20 I don't even know 40 chunk distance it's insane the moment is a powerful weapon it, it literally just kills everything what the heck that's actually awesome uh, I'll finally end the my review. I didn't go over everything. I did not. Um, but it's like 3 in the morning for me. If you guys want to see more, uh, let me know. Marty. Marty, we gotta go back. Back to the future. Let's go.